Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Mario Sears 99 here, and today, um, I'm about to show you guys for what I got for my, uh, 18th, uh, birthday. Well, although today I had a celebration, actually, on the 17th of September, but my birthday's actually on the 18th, actually. So, technically, I got some early gifts, though I will get more, uh, for tomorrow, actually. You're gonna have to wait for the next day. And, uh, the next day is where I turn actually 18 on September 18th. So, as for that, um, I'll be showing you guys for what I got for my birthday, 2023. So, um, let's first start off with this one. Uh, I got a shirt, guys. Uh, this shirt I got is from, uh, from Levi's right here. I got this from my aunt, uncle, and two cousins. Yeah, they got me this Levi shirt. Yep. It looks really cool, doesn't it? And then uh, another thing I also got is uh, this. Uh, it's a Crash Bandicoot cap here, guys. Uh, I got this from my other cousin and his girlfriend. Yeah, as you can see here, this cap is really awesome. Whoa! Yeah, as you can see, Crash Bandicoot guys right here. Yeah, this is a really cool cap I got. And then uh, I also got these uh, other gifts. Uh, I got two that are from my parents. Uh, the first stuff I got here is, um, for some reason, um, my parents decided to give me a Kinder Bueno. <coughs> yeah, chocolates. Oh, my gosh. It's kind of embarrassing. Yeah. But I did get something, and that's a new Nintendo Switch game. That game being Pikmin 4. Now, I've been really wanting to get this game uh, for uh, ever since when it came out, but as I found out, I didn't got enough money for it, but I got it now for my birthday. I mean, yeah, I've been really waiting for a full direct, you know, like a direct sequel to Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3, which came out in 2013 for the Wii U, but then was later ported to Nintendo Switch as Pikmin 3 Deluxe in October of 2020. But now we got Pikmin 4, so yeah. Save your crew here, and like this is the front of the game. As you can see, we got the Pikmin here, and ooh, the dog right there. Other Pikmin as well. And then there's the back here. Um, it shows us for what it's all about. Uh, also the how many players it can play either in TV mode, handheld, or tabletop mode. If it's compatible with Pro Controller, and oh, compatible with certain amiibo as well. I think only Pikmin amiibo might be compatible with, just like how Zelda amiibo. Um, are very compatible with uh, Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. Or pretty much it might be any Amiibo. I don't know. And uh, it also has the age rating of E10 for you to stand up. Uh, everyone 10 plus and ooh, Spanish. Todos más de 10. Translation, everyone 10 and up. And then comes to the content descriptors being uh, Fantasy Violence and Comic Mischief. But and then you also got for Spanish here. Violencia de Fantasia y Travesuras Comicas. In translation, that's fantasy violence and comic mischief here. So, about to unbox this. So, let's see how it goes. I almost got it out. Alright, yep, and, oh, yep, we got the cartridge here, guys, and the cover right here, so, I think let's try putting it in the Switch and to see how it appears on Nintendo Switch, so, let's get to putting it in the menu. Alright, guys, so we're about to put it in the cartridge for Pikmin 4, right here, guys, so, uh, let's see if we can get this out. Right here. Let's put it right in here. Just make sure it shows up on the screen. Ah, yes, Pikmin 4. That's what it looks like on the menu, guys. Now, let's see if you need updates or something like that. Oh, I am using the laser just. There's also this thing, guys, whenever you get physical cartridges, you get the My Nintendo Rewards program. So, uh, 
You can also earn gold points, which is a game card only. 60 gold points? Sorry, there. I earned 60 points. Those gold points which will be sent over to your Nintendo eShop, actually, for Nintendo Switch. So, let's see what happens when you click on it. I gotta please wait. Yes. Nintendo Switch. And let's see for what we get in this menu here. Oh, we got a Pikmin running. Ah, this is startup here for Pikmin 4. Trademark Pikmin. Oh yeah, and also uh, in a few days, guys, they're going to be bringing Pikmin 1 plus 2. Well, they already did, but they released it digitally first. They're going to be bringing it over to um, physical copies, actually on September 22nd. So, yeah. So there you go, guys. You see, this is the menu for Pikmin 4, the title screen. Like that, and you already saw how it looks like on the Switch Home menu, so... Yeah. About that, guys. So, also, um... You also wonder, like... Where can you get Pikmin 4 at? Well, you can get it physically or digitally, but if you're gonna get it physically... Um, there are places like, uh... Target, Walmart, GameStop, or Amazon... For example, or any other stores that sell video games... They sell those usually for $60, or should I say $59.99. Costco, however, sells it for $54.99, or $55 to be exact. So, yeah. So, I'd say the best way to get it for cheap would have to go to Costco. But if you're getting it digitally, um, you can also use the Nintendo Switch game vouchers, which um, I know because I was saying, Super Mario's Dudes 1990, what are Nintendo Switch game vouchers? Hmm, well, I don't know how to explain it, but I'll send a link to the description below of the video, actually, of how they work, actually. So, yeah. And then comes to a clip, guys, where you'll be seeing me, you know, showing you all what I got for my birthday of 2023. Let's head to the clip. Alright, guys, so there you go for what I got for my uh, birthday, well... Although it's actually an early birthday, um, because my birthday is on the 18th of September. So, yeah, so as you see what I got for my birthday, which I got this Crash Bandicoot cap here. I love it. It's really cool, guys. Then comes to, uh, this, uh, this right here, uh, it's the Levi's, uh, shirt here, guys. Looks really cool. I love it as well. Then there's uh, my uh, Kinder Bueno, which I did get, actually. Yeah. Also, can't forget, Pikmin 4 for Nintendo Switch. As you guys remember from the last video, I did show you a guide on how you can get this, actually, like, you know, for physical or digital, like... Physical, you can get them from, like, uh, any retail store, but they'll mostly cost you up to $60 or $59.99 or, depending on where you live at, like, in the UK, $49.99 uh, for the UK, that's £49.99 and 99 pence or $59.99 uh, in euros. Or if you live in Australia, I don't know how much will that be, but if you live in, like, Canada, about, like, almost $80 Canadian dollars. There is a other two cheaper ways that you can get it. Like for physical, you can get it either like uh, at Costco, that's $54.99, $55. Or you can, if you're gonna get it digitally, you might wanna use a Nintendo Switch game voucher, which allows you to purchase games at a cheaper price. Ah uh, yeah, that was part of what I explained here, guys. Like they're usually used for games that are like $49.99 to $69.99. Use them mostly for games that are $59.99 or higher. $49.99, that's kind of like a ripoff, you know? Yeah. Also, um, if you head on to your Nintendo eShop, go to Nintendo Switch Online, and then uh, select Game Vouchers. 
And then uh, go to the list that is eligible for the games that are eligible to order. You can also go to the Nintendo website to see what games are eligible for the Nintendo Switch game vouchers. To see how much, like, you know, which ones are eligible. Pikmin 4 being eligible for the game vouchers. That's one example, but there are other examples too. So, I don't know if I can list all of them, but I'll give you a few examples. Super Mario Odyssey, that's also on the Nintendo Switch game vouchers. You can also um, get uh, Wire Remove It, although that's $49.99. I'm supposed to be referring to a $59.99 Super Mario Odyssey. That's one of them. I also can't forget Luigi's Mansion 3. That's also one of them. Metroid Dread, that's $59.99. Donkey Kong Country Freeze, also $59.99. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that's also $59.99. Splatoon 2 and 3, both of them are $59.99. New Smart Bros. 2 Deluxe, $59.99 as well. Kirby All-Star, uh, Kirby Star Allies. And Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Those are all $59.99 as well. And New Smart Brothers U. Oh, I already mentioned that. Super Mario 3 World plus Bowser's Fury. That's also $59.99 as well. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's $59.99. But Tears of the Kingdom. That's the only. Well, currently, that's actually the first Nintendo Switch game to be retailed for $69.99 or $70. Oh, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That's $59.99 as well. Those are examples of titles that are $59.99, but then there's also uh, titles that are $49.99. A few examples include WarriorWare, Get It Together, and then there's also... Oh, yeah. I also can't forget. You can also use the vouchers to pre-order select games, actually. Which, um, currently on the list, they added Super Mario's Wonder, Super Mario RPG Remake, Princess Peach Showtime, which was recently shown in the Nintendo Direct, and recently, Marvel vs. Donkey Kong Remake, actually, which they added for the... Nintendo Direct, actually. So, yep. As you all remember from the previous clips, actually, of uh, this video, I actually will be receiving my other gifts uh, tomorrow on the 18th of September. So, you'll have to be viewing the next scene, which is for the next day. So, we can fast forward to next day about, like, right now. The next day. Alright guys, so today is my actual birthday, September 18th. So I was able to get uh, a few other things on my birthday as well. So um, first up, I pre-ordered Sonic Superstars, the digital deluxe edition for Nintendo Switch. I actually pre-ordered it. Um, the digital deluxe edition, which includes um, Lego sets. Well, actually it's the Lego skins in Sonic Superstars. And also the unreleased, um, well, specifically canceled uh, Sonic design, which um, Sonic was originally a rabbit. So, yeah, they're bringing it in Sonic Superstars. And, yeah, and also there's also this thing where, uh, let's see. I also did get uh, two Nintendo Switch game vouchers. Uh, they actually helped you to use um, purchase games at cheaper prices, but there's a list for eligibility. So, um let me get to show you for what I got for Sonic Superstars and Nintendo Switch Game Vouchers. So, about to show you that I'm actually saying it correctly. It's true that I actually did pre order Sonic Superstars and Nintendo Switch Vouchers. So, let's head to it. Alright, as you can see, guys, uh, I did pre order Sonic Superstars, the digital deluxe edition featuring Lego. It's not about the Lego skins. Yeah, and then there's also this thing, guys. Or uh, for Nintendo Switch Online. I also have the two, uh... Game vouchers, guys. They're actually used to help you buy, uh... Games that are at cheaper prices, but you can also use them to pre-order select games as well. You must have a voucher that will not expire before the product's planned release date. So I might use one, uh, you know, to pre-order a game and one that I can use to wait when I'm playing that game. So I'm about to show you guys the list of games that are eligible for these vouchers. So let's head on to the list. Here is a list of eligible software for the Nintendo Switch game vouchers, uh, especially ones that have been shown in Nintendo Direct as well. Like um, the games that are currently, um, you can use them to purchase 
ranging from fifty nine ninety nine, well, specifically forty nine ninety nine to sixty nine ninety nine. Those include Pikmin Four, Advance Wars, One Plus Two Reboot Camp. Uh oh, sorry guys. Let me try organizing the list first. We're starting from forty nine ninety nine games like One Two Switch, Bayonetta Two, Dragon Quest Builders, Sushi Striker, The Way of Sushido, Go Vacation. The World Ends With You Final Remix, Fitness Boxing, Dragon Quest Builders 2, Dragon Quest 11S, along with Fitness Boxing 2, Rhythm Exercise, Miitopia, Warrior War, Get It Together, Live Alive, And those are for forty nine ninety nine games. Now, then comes to fifty nine ninety nine, which is the average price for most first party Nintendo games. Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. That's fifty nine ninety nine. Mario Kart Deluxe. Fifty nine ninety nine. Splatoon two. Fifty nine ninety nine. Arms as well. Pokemon Tournament Deluxe. Fire Emblem Warriors. Zelda: Blade Chronicles two. Super Mario Odyssey. Donkey Kong Country: Tropical Freeze. Kirby Star Allies. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Mario Tennis Aces. Octopath Traveler. Super Mario Party. Pokemon both Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, New Smart Bros. U Deluxe, Super Mario Maker 2, Yoshi's Crafted World, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, the Astral Chain as well, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Daemon X Machina, The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, Luigi's Mansion 3, Pokemon both Sword and Shield, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Rescue Team Deluxe, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Paper Mario the Origami King, Pikmin 3 Deluxe, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, Super Mario 3 World plus Bowser's Fury, Bravely Default, New Pokemon Snap, uh, Mario Golf Super Rush, DC Superhero Girls, Team Power, The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword HD, Metroid Dread, Mario Party Superstars, Pokemon both Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, also uh, Pokemon Legends, Arceus, Triangle Strategy, Mario Strikers Battle League, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Splatoon 3, po Bayonetta 3, Pokemon both Scarlet and Violet, Fire Emblem Engage, Bayonetta Origins, The Reason the Lost, Demon, Kirby's Return to Dream and Deluxe, Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp, and Pikmin 4. And the only one that is available for $69.99 is The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. But you can also use the vouchers to pre-order select titles. Currently, as of right now, which is Detective Pikachu Returns, WarioWare Move It, and Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Those are $49.99. And you can also use them for uh, $59.99 as well, like Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Super Mario RPG, Another Code Recollection, and Princess Peach Showtime being $59.99. So there you saw, guys. That's the list of eligible software for the Nintendo Switch Game Manager. So let's head on to the clip where I say something. So... Let's go. So, as you guys saw, um, that was my birthday gift as they're up there, which is uh, Nintendo Switch Online Game Vouchers and Sonic Superstars. Uh, Pre-ordering the Digital Deluxe Edition, though. I am still waiting on another gift, which um, it's actually from my adult friend. But, however, the thing is, is that, you know, he said he'll be sending it via mail since he couldn't make it to my birthday. So, yeah. Hopefully, um, when it comes, I'll upload this video, even if it's a few day or more after my birthday, which is this upload. So, yeah. Sorry, I can't get, give my gift on time, but I will be able to get it Sunday. Someday, actually, at least, guys. I mean, my next gift, uh, it's, um, we don't know what it is yet, so... I'm going to be pretty kind of skeptical about it. It could be something. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able to upload the video once I get my adult friend's gift that I'm beginning. So, yeah. So, we can fast forward to a few days for the gift. One day later. Alright, guys. So, um... My gift that was for my girlfriend just came in today, so um, I'm about to show you guys what's in it. So I'll have to show you from this direction since um, I can't 
show you guys my address or anything because I just can't. But wait, I remember my box is up here, so I guess you can see what's in here. So let's see what it is. This is kind of a hard box to get it out. Oh my god. I'm almost gonna get it out. I just need to pull this right away. All right, got it in. I know what this is, let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, see what it is. Oh, oh, I got a letter from him and it's a letter from him. Happy 18th birthday, Javier. That's my birthday, guys. Uh, my 18th birthday was a few, just yesterday, guys. On, no, specifically guys, on 18th of September. Yeah, so I wonder what I get. 18? Just said, in a world where you can be anything, be you, because you're all kinds of amazing. My boy, 18 years old, it's 18 years old, is a man and is, I hope you have the best gift. Mm, okay. <gasps> oh my God, guys, you're not gonna believe this look I got. Super Mario Maker 2. Oh my God. I've been wanting to get this game ever since it came out, actually, but... I couldn't get it because of its retail price. So let's see if the game is in here. Ah, yes, the game is in here. Yes. That's the game. And then, oh my God. <laughs> Look at this, guys. A unofficial baby Wario plus. Oh my God. <laughs> this looks really cute, guys. I mean, come on. I might put this when if I plan on one day remaking the Mario movie in plush form. And then... Come to oh oh <laughs> look a baby Waluigi plus oh my gosh yeah <laughs> yes hey <laughs> Waluigi guy Wario. <laughs> Wario, Wario. Wario, Wario. <laughs> so as you guys see, Bay Wario and Bay Waluigi. <laughs> these are unofficial, guys, since these have never been canon in the Mario series. But at least I got to get Super Mario Maker 2. Oh, it's from GameStop. It's pre-owned. Hmm. So, I'm about to go boot this game up. So, let's get to booting this up. Alright, guys. So, we're about to boot up Super Mario Maker 2 for Nintendo Switch right here, guys. So, we're about to boot this up into the console. Okay, it's on the screen. Let's see if I need an update. Uh, about to get the update for Super Mario Maker 2. It's going to take a while, so... Let's see if we can try to speed this up for a moment. Finally, it's done loading. Updating specifically, guys. All right, about to play this game for the first time. I got the Mario right there. Yes. 
Oh my god, finally, yes. This is the game I've been wanting for so long. Ever since 2019 when it came out, but I couldn't get it because of its retail price. <sighs> finally, I get to get this game. Yes! Alright guys, so um, that is the stuff I got for my birthday of September of 2023. So um, as you guys remember, look, I got like a Levi's shirt right here. This Levi's shirt, really cool. I also can't forget, uh, oh yeah, forgot to mention that was for my my uncle and, and two cousins. And then I also got my Crash Bandicoot cap here, guys. If you guys remember, I got this from my older cousin, the other older cousin, and his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, guys. Then uh, I also got uh, two gifts from my parents, which were um, sure um, this uh, Kinder Bueno right here. Oh my gosh, yeah. I also can't forget Pikmin Four for Nintendo Switch. Oh, and if you guys also remember, I also got game vouchers, which um. If you do want to know what did I do with them, well, I actually used one to pre-order a game, and that would be Princess Peach Showtime, coming out on March 24th, wait, no, no, March 22nd of 2024. Yep. And for the voucher, I don't know what I might use it for, either a game I don't own or might pre-order a game, but I don't know, because the other game I do one day want to pre-order is Mario vs. Donkey Kong, the remake, actually. But it's $49.99, so using a voucher might not be worth it. Oh, yeah, and I also can't forget the three gifts I got from my adult friend. Uh, the Baby Wario and Baby Waluigi plushies. And Super Mario Maker 2 for Nintendo Switch. So, yep. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also, guys, um, I also wanted to mention this out to you guys. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, guys. I've been pretty much busy with school lately. Um, I'm in my fourth year in high school. And it's been becoming very difficult to, well, record videos, actually. Yeah. But don't worry, guys. I actually, if you guys remember my community tab, I actually posted one thing. I might be making a movie, actually. And that movie would be based on a video game called Snatcher by Hideo Kojima. Where, um, Snatcher being a cyberpunk graphic novel adventure game about a certain man who is in a law enforcement of Junker. He actually just looks through, um, some kind of mysterious robot creature. Wait, mysterious robots that turn into humans. Well, specifically, they murder humans and replace them in society. That's a pretty strange but really cool concept for a game, actually. Yeah, so I like this one, like, of how I'm going to be working on. Though, I am actually willing to see if you guys would be interested in, um, you know, uh, acting in my new film action that I'm working on. So, comment down below, well, not on this video, but over in the community post I made, where um, I actually said I will be working on Snatcher, and I'll give you the voice of who you'll be playing as in the movie that I'm going to be making. So, yep. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.